Uh, working with Anthony and Juan Felipe has been amazing because we always, like nothing, everything we do is always experimental. It's always, it's always different every time. We always do something different. We always go beyond, beyond art and beyond just poetry. Oh, the atmosphere was amazing. Like just having the audience there with us. Um, and like just being in the presence of friends again, it, it's amazing. So uh, my poem, Poetry Escape, uh, that was created for workshop and essentially that poem is about escaping, like a poem escaping the mind. And with that poem, the idea was for the poem to develop in my mind and to for it to escape through my eyes, through my lips, and through sound. So the point was for it to basically escape my body, escape my mind, and get onto a piece of paper. Um, so like working with Anthony and Juan Felipe really, really challenges my work because both of them are very much, very much, uh, I think non-traditional like forms, usage of poets. And so it, they really sort of allowed me to think about dive into like sort of my Hmong identity and my culture and the name so it's about it's just basically about um, the idea of a mother's love as well as like how exactly what objects or artifacts in the Hmong culture I, I feel like we should we should sort of put an importance on to further elaborate sort of like an attachment and the ideal of like a Hmong American like matriarch you know because the idea the idea is that you know the, the dress the sash and the heirloom necklace. Lutea souls hit the she. And those three objects are something that's very much an artifact, I think, and presented in Hmong American culture. But nobody really sees or shows off the, their mom's like, you know, baby carrier. Uh, and that's something that was much more I think utilized back in Laos because it was much more of an agricultural community where you know you you, you had you needed your hands free so you just strapped the baby onto your back and then you just went and worked about your day.